Okay, well, I'm back. Uh, today is the 30th of December, uh, 2022. One more day to go. Uh, we, we were running pretty good here for a little bit at the, at the power dam. Uh, I just had to shut down and flush out the racks. Uh, but uh, yeah, we were running. We were running at uh, almost near set point, so uh, we'll be back there in a little bit. Uh, just shut everything down, and turned it all back on. So, <coughs> and what that does is, is takes all the little debris and, and pushes it off, and uh, you know what floats away and floats away. Uh, plus, we got ice breaking up, so it's coming into the racks, so that gets that to float off. Uh, but we're, we were running at, uh, we were running at 1,700 uh, uh, feet of pod level, so, which is just hair above uh, set point, which is all right, we were, we were doing good. Uh, there for a little bit, we were running uh, pretty, pretty near 400 kilowatts. Uh, just coming back online, we're at 216 right now, so everything's on level of control, so it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, get where it needs to be and uh, we want to bring it up slowly so that everything doesn't come rushing in uh, I had the ablation done uh, chest hurts uh, uh, yesterday I, <laughs> he, I was done on Wednesday they discharged me yesterday I was still anesthetic drunk uh, all day yesterday it was tough it was a tough day I, I was just in a fog. Uh, it's been years since I was like that. So, uh, so but I, 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 I'm feeling okay. Uh, chest hurts a little bit because of you know the swelling and it, it, you know they were in there poking around. Uh, the interesting thing was I, you know, got a bikini wax. Uh, <laughs> They, uh, uh, I went to when they did the, the procedure, they, you know, they will go through your groin with two uh, catheters, one on each side. They go into your heart. They, uh, when they, when they close it, when they pull that all out, they close it up, you know, they put the, the dressing on it, and then they put a great big, a great big piece of tape over it. Well, they don't remove that for a day. So yesterday morning when they came in and, and they ate that off, woo hoo hoo! Uh, <laughs> that was a little painful, uh, but it was okay. Yeah. Uh, I got I got out of the hospital early. Sent me home. I still can't do any work. I, I'm, I'm off for. Uh, I tell I tell the second anyway. I tell at least Monday. Uh, <clears throat> then it's back to normal. Why I was gone? I got a, a delivery of a generator that's got to go in. My wires showed up for another generator for tomorrow for uh, uh, next week also. So uh, next week is going to be uh, generator week, which is good. I don't mind. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get it done. Uh, I got to get with Deck and meet up with him and let him know uh, when that's going to happen, so we can kind of coordinate it. Looks like there's going to be a lot of rain next week, so uh, but yet it's going to be warm, so uh, we may we may shoot for uh, one day where it's going to be uh, warm and uh, a slighter chance of rain, like a 40% chance. Um, generally, the generator set. Uh, you got to put a battery in it. You got to put uh, and do the wiring. Uh, you got to put the uh, the main the main uh, transfer switch in in line in the, in the, uh, the main controls. So we got to get that done. That kind of odd and end stuff. Uh, which it's not gonna. I don't believe it's gonna be too terribly bad. Um, I've got to find a, a piece of wire here. I've got some that, uh, some four-aught, 
uh, that I've got laying around, I'm sure. Um, I know I've got some somewhere. Anyways, um, but I'm, I'm feeling, feeling okay. Um, as we know, the ablation really doesn't repair anything, but it did bring my heart rate back up. Uh, so that's a, that's a plus. Uh, we're not in the 50s no more. We're at 68. We're, we're you know, closer to normal. Uh, blood pressure's been, been doing really well, so uh, we're going to keep doing everything that we're doing uh, and, and continue it. Uh, got, a, got a scratchy throat, but that's because they, you know, when they do that, they, they put a breathing tube in. Uh, so, got that, but other than that, I, I, I don't feel bad. Uh, I still, a little bit foggy yet, but, uh, you know, that goes without saying. We're going to take you outside and show you, show you what's what. Ah, everything's been, the chickens, chickens did fine. They all came out to greet me this morning. Uh, that's, that's because they were hungry. Uh, <laughs> they wanted... They wanted uh, their, their, their food this morning. Uh, they still had water. Everything was perfect with that. They had a little bit of food. Uh, they'll do their thing. Uh, funny thing about chickens is they'll be basically take care of themselves. Uh, I did not have Sarah even come down to check on them. Uh, there was no reason for it. I mean, they gave them enough food. and <coughs> They had enough food, enough water. The last of the two days that I was going to be gone, so I wasn't overly concerned. The the the, the, the river looks a little uh, actually it looks a little bit on the lower side, but uh, but that's okay. You don't want to get too close. Got to be careful yet. No, I don't want to overdo anything. fairly warm out here it's it's 35 degrees so uh it feels fabulous and it's gonna be it's gonna be uh near 50 today uh near 50 over the weekend rain on uh, uh chance of rain on sunday i gotta check the chickens uh Chicken's tarp here because uh, don't know what what's what with that. Oh boy, it's just a big ice ball. That'll probably break at some point. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna have to. We'll see how that goes. But the chickens are doing their thing. Everybody's, everybody seems, I haven't looked inside, but it looks like everybody did okay. How is everybody? How are you ladies? Are we doing okay? All right. Yeah, I gotta, Nobody's gathered eggs for a couple days, so I was gonna gather up some eggs. But at least it wasn't uh, sub cold, sub freezing, and and we, you know, we didn't lose any, any. I shouldn't have lost any eggs to uh, freezing. Still is an ice skating rink. Uh, we got lots of, lots of ice around, so you got to be careful walking. Uh, I've got ice cleats somewhere. Uh, when he'd asked me about him the other day, he said, where are they? He said, I think <laughs> they might be downstairs on the pegboard down there. So I, I will check on that to make sure they're there. They actually, believe it or not, they do work. They do work, work well, the little cheapies that you put over your shoes. We still got uh, flow from the uh, it, on the on the uh, on the uh, from the uh, uh, spring here. Yeah, it's it's doing all right. We some flow coming down the 
the uh, from the other side of the road too. So uh, I would imagine that's probably because it's been so warm. Not gonna venture over that way. Let me get you around here. You can see the downstream. I'm gonna go in here check. Sounds sounds like we're getting clogged up. Uh, it's one of those things you can hear. So let's check it real quick. Maybe not. Maybe we're doing okay. Uh, and, and I check that. I can check that and see what it's doing by what my by kilowatts is, is if it's dropping. Uh, we just let it sit here for a second. See what happens. Ninety-two kilowatts on the uh, on the small unit. Just jumped up to ninety-nine. You heard the click. That was the the wicket gates opening up, or the that was the contactor closing to turn the wicket gates up. We're running at twelve oh one. Uh, back and forth to 1202, so uh, right now we're at 99, we're at 100 kilowatts at the little unit, 291 on the bigger unit. So I don't think, maybe we're not, maybe we're not clogging up at all, maybe it was just, uh, I was hearing things, which happens. You, you get used to listening for things and, and sometimes you, you hear things that aren't really happening. So, uh, basically today I'm going to take it easy again, uh, I'm going to uh, sit back and relax and I'll, I'll get a hold of a couple people uh, and, and set stuff up for next week. Uh, we ordered some parts this morning and they should be here uh, probably tomorrow or they'll be here Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday, because Monday is the holiday. Uh, the, the, the last couple of days have been, been kind of blurry for me. <laughs> but, well, sometimes FedEx runs on, on Saturday. So if, if FedEx is running Saturday, I'll get it tomorrow. They, they the, the company I ordered from, they, they deliver real quick, so. Uh, that's just the couplers. I got a couple couplers coming for uh, for my uh, conduit, and that that'll be for the job later in the week. I'll probably do the other job. Put the I got I'm swapping out a generator, so I'm taking a little one out and putting a little one in. I, basically, they're the same size generators. One's just doing the other one's falling apart. It, 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 I hate to uh, I hate I hate to uh, have to do that but uh, we've been babying this thing along for the last three years and it's just the time most of the time it doesn't want to even start a run and you have to go over and jump in or or uh, you have to the last time we jumped the solenoid and got it to start uh, so it has issues that one I think I'm going to go ahead and use myself, uh, simply because um, I can get it started, uh, and Dan can get it started. Dan can figure it out, I can figure it out, we can make it run. Uh, and therefore, it doesn't really matter to us. Uh, so, looks like Wednesday might be the best day for Putting in the this generator, it, it, look, it's we've got the best shot of still 60% uh, chance of rain. Uh, but then Friday, boy, Friday is supposed to be sunny, but it's supposed to be 34 degrees, which is still warm enough. Uh, we've got to feed through the conduit, uh, and it, it, I don't really mind working at 34. It's not bad. If it wasn't going to be, uh, Monday is too close for me uh, 
Tuesday, I believe we're going to get wet Tuesday. And they're calling for almost half an inch rain, so uh, that's not going to be a keen thing. Uh, Thursday might be a good day to put the other generator in. And then uh, Thursday and Friday probably be my generator days. <coughs> <coughs> Still don't know anything about the. Uh, we're supposed to be doing a uh, a boiler, uh, wall-mounted boiler uh, combination. I'm still waiting for uh, deposit on that. Uh, and I can tell you what's going to happen. They're going to wait to the last second. Though no, here's the money. Uh, can you start next week? Well, I'm not ordering anything until I have the money in my hand because, you know, that's going to be ten, twelve thousand dollars, and I'm not going to do that because, uh, believe it or not, they still make me pay for it. Uh, it's not like it used to be. It used to be, you could order stuff from the from your supply house. And you got 30 days to pay. Now you got now uh, uh, they'll give you they'll give you two weeks. Uh, and because that's because everything costs more money. Uh, and if you don't pay in that two weeks, they're gonna they're gonna take the money anyways. They're gonna pull it. Uh, most of the stuff I just pay I just pay for it as I get it. Uh, and simply because I've I've done that credit thing and things happen uh, where people don't pay. And then you're stuck. Uh, you know, you have a fifteen hundred dollar bill, and and nobody paid you, and they don't really feel like paying you, and they're going to wait thirty, sixty, ninety days. Uh, you're out that money. Uh, you're and you're, you know, so you you still are obligated to pay it, and that's the money you had to survive on. Uh, that was early on in, in the business, and we'll never do that again, ever. I'll pay for it as I go. Uh, and I'll just tell people, I don't give out loans. I don't, I don't, I don't loan you parts. I don't, I don't loan you the money to buy the parts. You're buying the parts. Uh, you're going to buy the parts from me, or I won't put them in. I, I did have a guy that uh, I think I told you about it that they didn't want to pay for for uh, uh, Lee standing there or, or Curtis standing there uh, learning and helping uh, he said they didn't do anything and stood around and maybe ran some wire and held up some pipe work and ran after tools and uh, so we will never ever ever work for that guy again uh, what I will do, another lesson learned, it'll be, this is what the labor costs. I don't care what it is, it's what the labor costs. I'm not breaking it down for you. You're not getting a breakdown, this is labor. I, and I will pay everybody that has, I see they need to be paid. And it looks like we might be clogging up now. Although I don't know, we'll, we'll, yeah, we're down to 69, 70, although uh, the big unit's up, so I don't know. We're dropping, so I'm going to go over here and do some, take everything off level control, start dropping, dropping down again. Probably have to flush again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to flush again. We wait a little bit longer this time before we turn back on. <laughs> Or we won't go back to uh, we won't go back to uh, level control, and that's simply because uh, we're having it, it's gonna, it's a, 
having an issue. <coughs> I'd love to go break your axe, but I can't. So I've, I've got a 10 pound limit. Um, so we'll just make it work with what we've got to work with. Gotta run over here, push the defaults or the, the default resets and get them back up and, and running. All right, well, anyways. Uh, what a big give a shout out to my cousin Heather. Hi, Heather. Uh, she uh, she's not doing, not feeling too well. So uh, you know, I, I hope for the best. Uh, we gotta have you around so we can pick on you. So get better. Uh, otherwise, Joe and I would have to pick on each other, and that's no fun. So <laughs> all right, gonna jump off here. Uh, while I get everything here set up and run, back up running. Uh, hopefully the sun is shining where you're at. It's warm and you guys have a great day.